art has been Nigeria's greatest source of innovation in recent times, creating jobs in Nollywood that even the Global Innovations Index recognizes. But not so in infrastructure. The index ranks Nigeria 123 out of 141 nations. It's a reality the country wants to change to point to new innovation coming from its schools. We must be in a position to provide our young people with the opportunities and tools with which to enhance their skills and competencies in driving diverse sectors of the economy. A solar-powered steel to supply water through boreholes and power home appliances through power stored in batteries. That's from UNN. Abonyi State University has fabricated roofing tiles from rice husks to replace asbestos considered carcinogenic. And Federal Polytechnic Oko is moving beyond cassava to include breadfruit in bread sold on the streets and make drinks from fruits as sour soaps. If I test it and I'm okay by it, maybe the text wise and every other dimension and it is okay, why not? But the market is hardly prepared for it. There are only three exhibited at the National Education Innovations in November, but none has reached mass production. We hope that it will get there because the university will provide the funding. <laughs> Uh, it will provide the funding which they have, uh, you know, been uh, thinking about, maybe because of the money involved. Uh -huh. So they are still waiting. When they get the money, we'll move into the market. Four ministries, health, science and technology, information and communications technology, and education, are hoping to change that. And most of them don't have support for capital because that's really what feeds innovation. An innovative idea without capital to support it will really die before it gets to its, uh, its, 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 to, to its fruition.